some really great local soccer highlights from the high schools, and I'm thinking these are the two guys who a lot of those players trying to impress. We have the head uh, coaches of the men's soccer team, uh, Chris Apple from U of R, Bill Garno from RIT, and you guys uh, you get along really, really well. And I'm realizing you got a big matchup tomorrow. You guys go head-to-head -head competition, but you really get along as friends too, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we've, it's, it's, this has been a big tradition. U of R and RIT forever, and I've known Chris since he was a player, and we played together and. Uh, uh, when he came to U of R, it, it was a big game on the schedule to begin with, but when you play against a former uh, opponent from the field, it makes it makes it fun, and it's a great program, so it's always a big uh, big game on our schedule. We're talking Hillside, and we're talking soccer. This event was the first of its kind last year. This year, second year, very, very popular for people who haven't heard of it at all. What's happening tomorrow? Well, I mean, Hillside's such a great community organization, and a lot of people, including myself, prior to this event, um, don't know about Hillside and all the good work that, that they do with families mm -hmm. and children, uh, youth in our community. So it's a great opportunity to raise awareness, uh, as well as some funds for Hillside and for the children there. So hopefully the soccer match brings a lot of people out and people can learn more about, about Hillside and all that they do. You've been learning about it, and I'm putting you on the spot here, but as, as you learn about it, you know, people, maybe they know the name Hillside, they see it, but again, they don't really understand what happens there. Is it an aspect that, have you been learning about it, that you go, I, I, I'm surprised, I didn't know that? Well, like adoption services, for example, they do a lot of adoption services for um, local families looking to adopt, and then they do wonderful work with um, children um, all across the, the range of, you know, emotional challenges, mm -hmm. um, you know, challenges with school, they do counseling, um, they have a residential program for children with severe issues, um, and they counsel these children and they educate them, and it's, it's just a great program. Sort of like if there's a child in need, they can find some support at Hillside. Absolutely. Uh, and the man in charge right now, a proud RIT alum, is that what I hear? Yeah, Tom Hildebrandt <laughs> did some, uh, uh, did, was, is a graduate of RIT, he's a mutual friend of Chris and I from the soccer community runs the still sporting organization and as president of Hillside he approached us a couple years ago and I think to Chris's point I learned a lot more about Hillside in the last two years through mm -hmm. this through this initiative so it's it's been a win-win for me personally I think it's good for our IT and our affiliation trying to continue to make sure we have uh, strong ties with the community so uh, soccer enthusiasts whether they want to be a supporter of Hillside or just want a good old game of soccer uh, where are things happening how can timing of everything how can people uh, check it all out well it's downtown at Salem Stadium the beautiful soccer stadium we have right in our city and uh, at three o'clock there's a clinic for children and then at five the women's game kicks off that's also RIT against the U of R mm -hmm. and then we have the nightcap at 730 uh, do we want to make some predictions here? <laughs> no, no. Uh, we don't predict. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm thinking too, you know, when you think about, you've got, you know, young people on your, on your teams, young adults. If you think of, you know, even younger, the kids who might be, you know, in need of, of love, support, you know, learning about teamwork. When you think about soccer and learning about, you know, working with a child in need, that's got to be a good relationship if it's the right fit. Yeah, I think one of the things, that, you know, Hillside provides uh, guidance and mentorship and one of the things we want our student athletes, yeah, athletes to recognize is that as uh, collegiate athletes, there's younger uh, children who look up to them. Uh, this is clearly an event where that's on display, uh -huh. and so I think it um, it brings it uh, to you know right in the face of our of our student athletes saying, hey, I do have an influence on young people. I need to be accountable for what I do on the field mm -hmm. and in the community. And uh, leadership is one of the things that uh, U of R and RIT are known for, and we expect these uh, young men to when they graduate, come out and lead in the community, not mm -hmm. just in their profession, but in their community. Oh, I like it. So once the fit was put together, you realized this really was a, a natural fit. What a great idea for a, a program. Well, I gotta wish both of you luck tomorrow. And we also wanna mention too that the uh, money raised uh, tomorrow is gonna go towards uh, for folks currently going through Hillside programs for um, summer camps for, for next next year. So we're already planning ahead for next year. So guys, we wish you luck. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. And again, Thanks, uh, we had a lot of good highlights from our high school games last week. If you want to check out the highlights coming up in, in just a few minutes. Um, good luck. We appreciate your time. Nice to meet you both. Thank, Thank you for being same. leaders. Thank you. We're